Hi guys, I'm Ryan with Airframes Alaska. I'm here with our head engineer, Doug Keller, and we're gonna be talking about our aluminum struts today. We've been developing a variety of lift struts over the years and manufacturing them, and we're gonna review some of those and give you an update on what's to come. Doug, do you want to take over and give us a little bit, bit of background on why we started developing the aluminum lift struts? So the initial reason was weight reduction. So uh, Cessna makes aluminum struts, they don't make steel. All these legacy cubs and malls have steel struts, but weight reduction was the primary driving factor. Um, after we got into it, we realized that they're more repeatable to build, easier to build. They have better corrosion resistance properties. Uh, so besides lightweight, there's other beneficial reasons why we do it. That being said, we have discontinued uh, manufacturing our sealed steel struts. The reason being, like Doug said, repeatability, um, supply chain issues, really expensive to, to develop them, and we were worried about actually passing those uh, expenses onto the customer. You, you mentioned lightweight, but then I wanna talk about uh, corrosion resistance and the capability of that. So could we start from OEM and sure. how we got to this? So. You know, these legacy aircraft were designed 50 years ago and they're streamlined steel tubes. So they're steel, which is corrosive. So initially the end where the fork is was not sealed or the fork above, above was not sealed. Water and moisture can get trapped in there and corrode from the inside out. There was an AD that came out to address that where you had to inspect them or we made sealed steel struts. Right. So it was filled with some oil and moisture, water could not get inside. So there was kind of eliminated the corrosion problem. Some, some downsides to that is it's hard to powder coat. The powder coat heat expands it. So um, you have to kind of unseal them, powder coat them and reseal them. So we can do that ourselves, but right. as a customer, they can't do that. So how would you have a, a sealed steel strut inspected? What's the process? Is that? Well, that, that's x-ray. Now, theoretically, they're lifetime, but uh, yeah, they're pretty much, you don't have to worry about it. So if you don't see exterior corrosion, you can be pretty comfortable that there's no interior corrosion. So then with the aluminum strut, hollow extrusion, no water gets trapped, no corrosion issues with that, right? Well, aluminum does corrode, but at a much significantly much lower rate than steel. With our struts, there's no ADs, so you don't have to worry about that inspection AD for the struts. Okay, so we started with the PA-18 uh, originally. That's the first model that we came out with. Could you talk about the other models that we now so I offer? I think uh, we went to Mall. Yeah. So Mall was our next one. Right. And then, uh, I don't know if the PA-2022 came out first or the 1214. Yeah. But the Pacer, Tri-Pacer, Super Cruiser, and right. Family Cruisers were the next ones. And then the last one, latest one we do was Aviat Husky. So the Aviat Husky one we're really excited about. We're gonna have information about that on our website, but ultimately you're gonna be getting those struts from Aviat. So reach out to Aviat and that's where you can buy the new uh, Aviat Husky aluminum lift strut. Could we talk about manufacturing the products here? So we've just recently bought a new machine that yeah. we'll be using to manufacture. So the raw material we get is an uh, extrusion length. Um, obviously these have been milled with the ends. Uh, prior to now, we used a vertical CNC mill to do that. They're very long, take up a lot of room, and our demand's pretty high for this, so we just purchased a dedicated CNC router with a big bed on it that's just gonna do aluminum struts, that's all it's gonna do. So it's gonna profile all these, uh, drill and ream these rivet holes, um, and that's all it'll do. And so the other thing that it might be doing is an HD uh, strut. So do you want to talk about what might be coming out here soon? Sure, yeah. When we announced that we were going to discontinue steel struts, we got quite a bit of feedback from customers, from Super Cup customers, that now we don't have a heavy duty rear lift strut. And the reason that people want a heavy duty rear lift strut is due to ground loads, snow accumulation on top of the wings, or winds. What typically happens in those rare weather events is that the rear strut could buckle. So what we've done is we designed a new heavy duty P18 rear strut mm -hmm. that is as strong or stronger than our steel heavy duty strut. So the way we did that is we just increased the, the wall thickness of the extrusion. So uh, 
with that added strength comes added weight. So there's a penalty in that. Right, got it. Um, okay, so we talked about buckling. A lot of people ask about the strength capability. Could you give us a little bit of background on how you went through testing and sure, your findings? Sure, sure, yeah. So uh, again, all these are STC'd, FA approved. And the way, the method we did that was the thing called comparative analysis. So we took the OEM drawings and analyzed that strut in all sorts of modes, tension, compression, uh, weld, strength, every possible way we could think of that the strut could fail. And then we had to design our aluminum struts to be as strong or stronger. So if, as long as we're stronger or as strong, they're certifiable. Right. So we designed these profiles specifically for those loads. Um, and the, the most demanding criteria was compressive buckle, buckling load. So that kind of drove the whole design. If we meet the criteria in buckling and negative loads, we exceed everything else in all other categories. So that is the driving design criteria. All right, so we just reviewed our aluminum struts. If you have further questions, you can check out information at airframesalaska.com. Otherwise, give us a call at 907-331-4480, and we can give you technical information, and then we can also get shipping quotes. We ship to the lower 48 and also worldwide. So give us a call, and we'll help you out. Thanks.